Have you guys ever been playing Minecraft and went, wow, I wish, I wish I could just drop into an ancient city pretty much directly from my spawn point? You haven't, you say? Well, this is a seed from your nightmare, and then this is the seed you may be looking for. You're gonna drop directly into an ancient city. Welcome back, guys, to another episode here of the Minecraft Top 5 Seed Series. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Vinny Gaming. you guys can call me Justin. The chunk base links are in the description, so if you want to verify if my seeds are real or not, go ahead, click the link. The freaking bat just died. Go ahead, click the link, and <laughs> you can verify. 1.19.3. Java edition, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, coming in at seed number one. Now, I like to do these videos as a let's play style so you guys can see where we're gonna go. So first, we're gonna head toward this pillager outpost. Now, this pillager outpost isn't anything too crazy, but we're gonna use it as a reference point, right? So you have this pillager outpost where you're not gonna get any lays, you're not getting anything really new, but we're gonna use it to get to this mountain. Now, this is where we're gonna find our first mountain. It, it's pretty epic, it looks really good. I like it, but on the other side, you're gonna find a village. Now, nothing crazy about the village, right? Nothing, you're not, you're not gonna beat the game from this village alone, but it does stretch down this mountain into a river. But then we're gonna head in this direction. You know, we're gonna just follow the river, follow the river, follow the direction of the village over to its counterpart village, where we're gonna find our cool feature for this seed. You're gonna notice, now I have my render distance down a little bit because my computer's been acting up just a little bit, but you're gonna find right here, check this out, you have a village, and then just behind the village, you have a pillager outpost. So the village is right here, and the pillager outpost is perched up on this mountain. Now, it's even cooler that on the other side, you have another village. So you have two villages within this weird kind of canyon looking thing and a pillager outpost keeping guard. So if they try to get to each other, if they try to wander through, well, the pillager outpost is going to know. And then we have this absolute stunner of a jagged cliff biome that looks absolutely amazing. So you get a really interesting, I, I would say, mixture. You get a pillager outpost on a mountain. You get a couple villages. It just looks really good. I, I really like it. Now, I, I really feel like this seed progressively gets more and more epic because if we spawn into seed number two, you're going to notice things right away are already pretty epic. You're going to go to the right, okay? We're going to go to the right first where we're going to find our village. That's where we're going to want to go to get our, uh, our loot and everything, right? Because we're going to want to be able to play the game. So you get your loot, everything's great, climb the mountain and take a look around because you're going to notice your spawn point was a beautiful mountain, right? You have another beautiful mountain over there and you have another beautiful mountain over here. Now, if we do just a little bit of exploration and we fly around to these absolute stunner mountains, you're actually gonna find a few more villages. So we have this village here, nothing too crazy, nothing too big. And it's got a perch next to a pretty interesting mountain here. But then if we come over this direction, check it out, you're going to find another village that's uh, scattered up the side of the mountain. So not only do you have this like beautiful mountain range and you spawn within it, you don't even have to go looking for this mountain range. You have this beautiful mountain range. You have three villages right off the bat. Come on, Chunk, slow in that are gonna give you loot and get you everything you need to actually start this world. So, uh, I mean, it's a pretty epic seed. Three villages and these beautiful mountain ranges. What more could a Minecraft player ask for? Look at this too. You have this really cool river. I, I just really like this seed. I don't know what to tell you, okay? Go cry about it, I guess. I don't know. Go cry about what? What am I even trying to say? Now, coming in at Z number three, it has one of my favorite things in Minecraft. And I mean one of my absolute favorite things in Minecraft. We have, we have cliffs. Check this out. You're going to have beautiful, beautiful cliffs separating out the ocean from your land here. Now, you've already noticed, you've already seen it. You have a pretty interesting village here. So you have a village here with, a, I'd say, a small mountain. It's nothing crazy, but you do have a pretty interesting i guess the word i'm looking for mountain here now let let's head to the meat and potatoes we're gonna go back to our spawn point which is right here and we're gonna go backwards we're gonna head toward this direction here now you're gonna find yourself a mountain range now not only are you gonna find yourself a mountain range you're gonna find yourself multiple mountain ranges with the very keen of eye i've noticed already 
not the village that just loaded in, the flat space. Uh, I know, Minecraft has a really weird, you want flat space, because Minecraft's hard to build. Who can build on the side of a mountain properly? I can't. I can barely build on a flat space properly. So, you have this beautiful flat terrain in between two mountain ranges. So, you're going to be able to build your house, you're going to be able to see the mountains, view the mountains, and have everything down here, get some loot right off the bat, well, let's go over to the village. Let, let, let's take a look at it quick. So if we go over to the village, nothing crazy, but you have loot, you have flat land, and you have mountains. That's pretty much a builder's dream. And I, I think a few of you would be able to utilize this. So let me know. Let me know in the comments if you can. I'm really interested, actually. Now, coming in at scene number four, ladies and gentlemen, things start to get a little more epic. Before we get into this seed, I want to pop something up on the screen. This seed actually has nine, and I'm freaking nine ancient cities below it. So we're not going to go through any, any of them, <laughs> but just know they are there and you can verify with the chunk base link in the description. But if we take a quick fly around, you're going to notice that you spawn in a beautiful mesa biome, right? So look at this thing. It's beautiful. You have this massive like mountain range, mesa mountain range, and then you're going to have these really, really cool, like off-putting uh, Mesa, Badlands, Treeland thing, and then you're gonna have some stony peaks over here. Now, this is where things start to get a little interesting. If we come around the back of this, you're gonna notice that things turn into a savanna, and this savanna is actually a shattered savanna. So, we have a beauty mountain range here, we have another two little smaller mountain ranges, and then another big one that looks beautiful with a valley in the middle of it, and just over that valley, is a village so if you wanted to build a villager trading hall inside of something like this you have the option to do that which is really cool and then you actually have snowy mountains surrounding it so like look at this this is small this is a very small detail but look at that generation i don't know why that makes me so happy but it does so there you go you have this really cool mountain range with multi biomes you have different structures and you have nine ancient cities See, number five is honestly my favorite. And I am not saying that lately. If you spawn in, you're going to notice that I didn't open the chunk base link. Now that I've opened the chunk base link and know what I'm referring to, <laughs> you're going to notice this beautiful village biome right here. This village biome. You're going to be this beautiful river biome. And then I had my head down if you couldn't figure it out. You're going to find this village so i want you guys to go to this village and i want you guys to get the loot from it because you guys are going to take on your first ancient city what you're going to do is actually fly up where you're going to find this weird kind of broken it, it almost looks collapsed like the landscape is collapsing in on itself so what you're going to do is go into that cave right be careful don't take too much damage because once you fall down this you find an ancient city now not only have you found an ancient city? Not, not only have you found it, you've actually gone ahead and you've stumbled into two ancient cities side by side. If we come over here, you're going to find the second portal. Come on, Mojang, make it a portal already. You're going to find the second portal. So two ancient cities completely connected with another three surrounding it is a really, really interesting thing to perhaps fall into off of your spawn point. Imagine you're not really paying attention. You're being a reckless player and you accidentally fall into this. You're, you're gonna die. You're instantly gonna die. I haven't even taken on one of these things in survival and I play this game daily, literally daily. Now, to, to top everything off, you're gonna have this. You're gonna have beautiful terrain surrounding you. So this could be a really cool spot to set up a, I don't know, like a, a military base to where you're gonna be going in and raiding the ancient cities all the time. That could be something cool to set up there. Or you have more mountain ranges to choose from. So th the possibilities are endless in this game. It it's quite beautiful that way. So let me know what you do in the comments below. I really just wanna see you comment, okay? Anyway, guys, only Drew viewers are still watching. So thank you guys for watching, viewing, and subscribing. And if you guys are new, if you could consider hitting the subscribe button because I'm trying to grow this channel as rapidly as I can here in 2023. So hit the subscribe button. Now, obviously, all the chunk base links are in the description. I don't know if I've said it in the intro. I haven't recorded it yet. But 
yeah, the, the chunk base links are down there. Now, if you guys didn't watch my last uh, single player or uh, technically survival series, because it is on the server with friends, but it's the old single player, I did get the Roadcaster Pro too, and I am still playing around with microphones and trying to get the noise gauge just right. So if you noticed anything weird in the audio, my apologies. There's still some room treatment things I have to do, like remove my jet engine of a computer, but everything seems to be working. So if you liked this, I'm still trying to get used to a noise gate. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, I love you to death, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.